Today we're talking about our favorite cover crop here in the desert. That's up next. everyone this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here at the end of August early in the morning in 2021 we wanted to focus on one plant in particular that we've been very impressed by here this summer in Arizona and that's actually what I'm surrounded by here and that is cowpeas so cowpeas are synonymous with cover crops especially when it comes to large-scale farming permaculture type farming where you're doing rotational crops we're doing the exact same thing here on this farm in Arizona we wanted to share with you our five reasons for using this crop if you're in really any part of the country especially in during the summer Reason number five for growing cow peas, especially for us here in Arizona, is green in the middle of summer. So if you guys garden here, you know that finding something that survives, and in this case, thrives in our hot, hot summers is a little tough to do, especially with something that has so many benefits like this, and what we found is as it gets hotter, so we get up above 100 degrees, these plants really take off. In fact, more so than we expected, as you could probably see around me here. Reason number four for having cow peas on your property is green mulch. This gives you a really good idea of what cow peas can do when it comes to covering the ground and keeping it much, much cooler, especially during the summertime when you may not have regular crops in it. You're gonna be able to very easily cover large parts of ground because this is a vining plant, as you saw in our raised beds just a moment ago. However, the vines were laying down on the ground. So we have a few patches that are open. You'll see we had sunflower seeds in here earlier this summer that did really well alongside these cow peas. And now the cow peas are actually covering the ground until we come behind it and plant our fall crops. So again, reason number four would be green mulch. So staying right here for reason number three to grow cow peas, and that is actually green manure. So one of the things that we do here on the farm is we will come back here in just a few weeks. We'll be cutting these right at ground level with some clippers, and we'll be taking the greens, laying them flat on the ground, and laying an additional layer of wood chips on top of these greens. What'll happen is these greens will actually break down underneath the wood chips as long as we keep it nice and moist on top. And it will actually create additional soil life because all of the microorganisms are gonna be able to feed on these greens underneath the mulch all winter long and continue to build fertility in the soil. So reason number two for growing cow peas would be a bean harvest. And here I have some examples of different stages you can harvest the beans. So this one would be the green bean stage. Now, I can't say that they're the most delicious green bean you've ever had eaten raw. However, if you cook these up, um, they do just fine as a green bean replacement. Of course, when you're talking about beans, you're also talking about kind of what I think most of us recognize as a bean harvest, and that's when you have a fully ripe pod. Let's grab this one here. So here you have a fully dried pod, and inside you actually have hard beans or traditional beans. There would be a bean harvest out of a single pod. So I've got two, four, six, eight, I think I've got 10 or so beans there. Now these beans are very similar to say black-eyed peas. So a very common ingredient that you can use in recipes as just a hard dry bean. And then of course you can also take these and you can replant them. So once you buy a packet of cow pea beans or seeds, you'll pretty much have these the rest of your life. You can see just what kind of a harvest we're gonna be getting out of these beans. In fact, we'll be doing that later today and getting a really good hard bean harvest out of these cow peas. 
Now our number one reason for growing cow peas and that is fixing nitrogen in the soil. Now if you guys know anything about legumes, obviously beans are a legume, is they actually do a very good job of pulling nitrogen and putting it down into the soil. Now the way they do that are nodules on the ends of the roots. What I'm gonna do is something I typically wouldn't do with a crop like this out of one of our raised beds, but I wanna show you guys what these root nodules look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these out. So it's probably gonna be pretty hard to pick this up on camera, but there is, uh, there's a few, a couple different nodules that I can see on here that are starting to develop. As these plants completely mature, more of these nodules will develop. It's part of the reason why you want to basically cut these off at ground level and leave these roots in the ground to decompose. But there's a very, very small nodule right here at the tip of my finger that's starting to develop. As I'm looking at the rest of the plant, I see little tiny ones that are just starting to develop here on these roots. So this one still has a ways to go. These will remain in the ground here growing for probably another two months, maybe three. So these still have a lot of time to develop additional nodules. And each one of those, as they break down in the soil, assuming you leave the roots there, are gonna leave that nitrogen behind. And that's gonna allow future plants to have that beneficial nitrogen to grow that beautiful green that we're all looking for here in our gardens. Of course, this one now becomes <laughs> green manure as I put it underneath some of these wood chips. So hopefully we've given you guys some good reasons to grow cow peas. Even if you're on a small scale and you have raised beds in the back of your house, in your backyard, and you're looking to create additional soil fertility, get a small bean harvest possibly, definitely some green manure and some green mulch here, especially during the summertime. And then of course, if you're looking for something here in Arizona that grows like crazy with just a little bit of water, this is definitely the crop for you. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. Definitely share the content. If you know anybody that's into this kind of thing, would love it if you would share the content, definitely helps us here. Our Amazon shop, that's a free painless way to help support our channel here. I'll leave a link down below and if you follow that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. Uh oh, there's a grasshopper. <laughs> oh my goodness. Squirrel. Yeah, exactly, squirrel, grasshopper. Mm. <laughs> you, you definitely need to cook that. That's disgusting. <laughs> Try again. <laughs>